Welcome to this video. Anga 2718. All right. So e5. Okay, let's attack the pawn here. And I think I will try to push for d4 in the right moment and um, c4 e3. I think this is some kind of what I want to play. Okay, d4 is not possible at the moment. Mm. Knight f3, he might play e4. I could try something like bishop e5, maybe. Even to threaten to take here, maybe. Mm. Hmm. If d6, I can play d4, right? Let's attack the knight. So I'm threatening to take the knight and then the pawn on e5. So I think either d6 or queen e7 or queen f6 are the ways to go. All right, and here I thought d4 might be the right move. Attacking immediately the center. Mm, is there something wrong with this move? I mean, he will take, I take back. There is a queen e7 check. Is there stuff with queen h4? Attacking here and attacking f2, no. Mm, I mean, I can take here anyway later on, so. I think there is no need to hurry. And I just play d4. If bishop b4 check, I play c3. Queen e7, I play knight e2. Well, knight f, uh, queen f6 is interesting, maybe. Takes, takes, queen f6. I cannot take because bishop on b2 is hanging. But the queen also looks a little bit strange here on, on f6. Maybe I then just play knight to e2. Hmm. Okay, but this feels good. I, I'm not afraid of this move. So c3. I can play d5. But I don't want to. I want. I can play queen e2 also. Mm. Knight f3, there might be queen e7 check or bishop g4. <coughs> but I like to castle as quick as possible. So is knight f3 better? And queen e7, what do I do against queen e7? I think I play the knight to e2. And maybe I can jump to f4 and d5. This bishop here is a little bit out of the game, so if I castle short, mm -hmm. maybe I move this bishop here to g5. Mm, maybe the knight is also good on h5 or on f5. I want to free my queen again, so my queen can maybe go to h5. So let's castle. Mm -hmm. 
I can play knight to c4 also. Let's continue developing the pieces. I think I retreat the bishop to d3, just eyeing here on h7. And then I can play knight c4 also if I want to. Okay, he will play c6 maybe and d5, and then he can retreat the bishop to c7. So maybe now is the right moment play knight c4 but c6 I take he takes here and I cannot retreat with my knight again so let's move the bishop first and now c6 I did not expect this one because now I can win the bishop. I mean, I don't win it in in the sense that he uh, loses a piece, but I win the bishop pair. So mm. let's do it. His knights are not threatening at the moment. Knight f4 or something because this knight is also protecting f4. I can play a4, threaten to take here and to play uh, a5, so he needs to play c6. Do I win something with a4 or is it weakening my position? I wonder. Okay, after a4 he will play c6. I will take, he takes back, so my pawn on b3 is a little bit weak. So I'd rather keep it like it is, I think. What I can also do is just to continue to develop my pieces. So where do I want to put my rooks? Maybe this one on e1 and maybe I play f4, f5 later on. So queen would be good on d2 maybe. I don't want him to play mm, bishop g4 here, but I can play f3, right? Okay, so let's play queen d2. And what about taking here, playing c4 and d5, just to make this diagonal work for my bishop on b2? The moment this guy is doing nothing, he's just protecting his own uh, pawn here on c3, so this is a little bit passive. Um, I like this bishop here, and I like this pawn to be on d5. Hmm. For the time being, uh, black doesn't have any kind of weaknesses, so it's a solid position. He's a little bit underdeveloped, so he needs to move the bishop now. And it's not that easy to find a good square. Maybe an idea is also to play something like bishop e6, bishop d5, bishop e4. Or is something like knight h4 and bishop f5 an option also? I have queen g5, however. So yeah, the the knights here, mm, they're also a little bit strange. Okay, he really wants to mate me like queen to h4, or what's what's the point? Should I play h3 or f3? want to kick him away. Mm. F3 this diagonal would be open but doesn't look dangerous at the moment. H3 he might sacrifice later the bishop. Mm. 
but it's never enough for him. So I think h3 is the right move here. h3, and then I, I, um, I continue later on with f4, f5. And this rook maybe to e1. Queen g5. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, but I can play knight to g3 just to avoid this move here. He wants to play bishop f5, I guess. Hmm. But by playing knight to g3, he can play queen f6, and then f4 is weak. But I, I now I can also make uh, this idea work with taking d5 and c4, and I have this beautiful diagonal here. Hmm. Okay, play. Let's play this. And um, queen f6. Maybe I have f4. And I think I will take on b6 now. I mean, um, this. I'm a little bit afraid of this diagonal here becoming uh, eff effective for, for black. Sooner or later, I will play f4 and, and, and this doesn't look too good. Maybe I should take it this guy away. And then I play f4. Again, I didn't expect this move. Mm. Hmm, maybe f4 myself. Okay, is this diagonal is open now. Mm. I can I can try something like knight h5 later on also. This the square g7 is weak. I don't want him to play knight e5 later on, so I think moving f4 is okay. And then in the right moment I play, I take here d5, c4. So e5 is also protected now, he cannot move his knight. I'm thinking about queen h4. King h2 it doesn't work because of knight g4. But maybe I just play queen to f2 to protect the knight on g3. Yeah, he still has problems with the bishop on c8. So, yes, as expected. Mm, so queen f2, but maybe rook f3 is also an idea. If I double up pieces here on the on the e file later on. Yeah, I keep I keep the options here. I think. Mm. Okay, let's take your next move. And then d five. Maybe he can play d five himself now. Okay, the next move is maybe c4. And this looks nice. I think I play rook e1 also. Okay, not at the moment. The pawn on a2 is uh, is not protected. 
Hmm. Hmm. Night H5 later on. Oh, I play A4 first. A4, C4, just freeze the whole queen side and then rook E1. I can play queen c2 maybe also attacking f5 again. Yes, he can do that. Mm. So this bishop is now working. one idea rook e1 takes takes rook e3 later on well I can never play really king h2 that good well or oh, I try something Taking here later on. Hmm. Just a, as a vision, let's say the king would be on h1, I play queen f2, then I threaten to take maybe here. If he takes my queen, I have the check on h6 first, which is nice to double up his pawns. Wow, he, he really forces me to attack on, on g7. If he plays something like this, I expect queen e7, you know, to control a little bit the e-file. Now he needs to play something like rook f7 or rook e7. Mm -hmm. The knight on h6 doesn't look too good here as well, so... Hmm. If he plays queen e8, I have rook e3, so... But here I also have rook... I, I'm, I'm happy to exchange rooks because then g7 again is weak. Or does he say okay f4 is also weak? Maybe. Okay, I'm I'm trying this. I mean, I can take with the bishop later on on uh, g7 and attacking the knight. So what about queen d4 next, threatening a mate? Hmm. Okay, so g7 I think will fall and f5. I'm also thinking about playing g4 in the right moment. It doesn't work at the moment, but maybe with a little preparation. 
although he's there are too many pieces just covering g4 the pawn the knight the bishop indirectly doesn't work but anyway I, I, he has a lot of problems with g7 now i think he's um not able to protect it anymore so counterplay maybe again but i'm not sure queen h4 he is attacking knight h5 and the pawn on f4 if i move the knight and i have to move the knight but here i think I just have queen d4 threatening a mate. Mm. Yeah, so the bishop on b2 is like the guy that started the game and he will do something with finishing the game as well I think yeah. what else can black do I don't see something here on the queen side I mean my weakness is f4 but f4 is also nice that he cannot jump with a with a knight on e5 so yeah Okay, but what happens after queen d4? This check here, all right, he can check me. Is it perpetual? I mean, uh, let's say I play queen, queen, queen d4, he checks me, go king h2, knight g4, he takes, I take, and then here check. Need to go back, check, but I have bishop f1 all the time right so okay this works I can take on g7 obviously then he will take here on f4 and I don't have threats there anymore hmm This is the post, yeah. postman. Okay, but he's ringing here in the whole whole house. If you, I don't know if you if you hear it. So, um, I'm often the guy you know who collects all partials for everyone here in the house. Let's see, queen d4. What happens after queen d4? Yeah, here, yeah, but um, I thought I'd take. Now I see that also that uh, he can take my queen here, but um, I mean, then I'm a whole piece up. And if I take here and he takes there, I can play e6. Very strong attacking g7 again. So here I have a lot of options. Mm. I think the most easiest the easiest way is just taking here. Um but is there something with queen h5? I okay, I take queen h5. e6 and then he has check on d1. King h2 and again knight g4. Hmm. So, what?
what ha what else do I have? King f2. But whenever I move the bishop, he might take my queen. I take back. Hmm. If I take on g7, he again has queen e1 check, and maybe he can take here on d3. No, if I take here, he has queen, I play move this bishop back and there's nothing. So after taking here, he needs to take here, right? If he takes there, I play knight at f5, threatening a mate on g7 again. But he has queen e1 check. What if I just move my bishop to f1 here? Queen f3, uh, knight f3 check, need to take, check. Is this a perpetual? No, I mean the knight is protecting here, bishop f1. If he takes then, there is no check. So at the moment I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about taking here or playing bishop f1. Okay, let's, let's analyze both of them. If I take, he needs to take on h5 with the queen. Mm. Let's say I play e6 or I take here. Here's a check. If I retreat, he might exchange queens. I take back and then he moves here. And I don't know if I have something. Well, I win this pawn. So I take here. This is winning. So okay, I can do this. I, I take, he takes here. I take here on d6, threaten to take here again, he needs to take care about g7, if he protects I take on c7, if he moves the queen to d1 check I play bishop f1 attacking his queen, he needs to change queens, take back, if he takes a pawn I win the pawn on b6 in the end with a winning endgame. So should I play it now or should I check the other option? Let's see what the other thing is. Um, bishop f1 first. Knight f3, I, did, I just take, there's nothing here. Okay. If he takes the knight, I again take here. He can take back, but there's not that much. So let's do the first, the first idea. That was quick, all right. Now taking here on d6 was my idea. And queen to d1, I have bishop f1. And I'm threatening mate now, so he needs to do something about the mate. Maybe I can I have king h2 because knight g4 doesn't help. My queen is also eyeing here on g4 and his queen, I mean it's not on the black square anymore so knight g4 doesn't work so um, this is simply winning. What is he thinking about? Queen f7? Queen g6? Queen g5? Hmm. Why not just taking on c6? 
see seven. Is there a threat? So queen to d2? No. Okay, so he wants maybe to move his knight to f5. Um, what about just queen e5? Or I take here. There is nothing he can do now, right? Um, F3 maybe. I'm two pawns up, so let's exchange queens and then um, entering here somehow. I'm still threatening g7, so queen h4 is just a mate. He has maybe queen g3. But then he cannot move uh, the pawn here anymore. The queen would be hanging. Yes. Okay, my bishop is uh, is not protected, but it doesn't matter. There's still a mate on g7. Mm. I can play bishop to d4 maybe also. He has knight to f7 maybe later on. Mm. What about... I didn't see that, it's checkmate. Yeah, just c8. I can take I I can play with the rook here also. Queen E eight checkmate. I'm just thought about the back rank here a little bit if I can do something about it and yeah sure I can just um, how how is it said in in English? Try to um, move this bishop away. And is this worked? So if he takes, I have a checkmate on e8 with the other queen. Yeah. Thanks for watching.